Hey guys, this is John from US Dash Camera. Today I got a review on the Anchor Rove A1 dash camera. Now this is the fourth dash camera by Anchor and Rove is sort of one of their branch off or subsidiary companies but it is an Anchor product and what's unique about this one is it's very similar to their previous model the C2 but it does have Wi-Fi built in. But while it does have the Wi-Fi, it does have some features that are taken away, which we'll talk about later. But it is currently, as of uh, reviewing it, $60 on Amazon, which is the same price as the C2. Now, I put the C2 on my top five dash cameras for New Year's 2018, and I already had this. Originally, when I bought this, I was thinking this one was going to replace the C2 as one of my cheap favorites or my favorite dash camera that's very affordable but for several reasons I'll talk about it I still prefer the C2 more but let's get into the box first you can see here the box is very tiny compared to the box for the C2 now just like the other anchor cameras I have purchased or I did purchase this one by myself so I'll provide links down below if you are interested in any of these because the affiliate links I provide do help me purchase the new cameras to review for you guys. So here you can see the camera is pretty small. It's about two-thirds the width of the C2. So that could be a good thing for some people. It does have very similar buttons. It's got the same mount uh, on the top. Although this camera only comes with the suction cup mount. The C2 did come with an adhesive mount and the suction cup mount, but either way, the mount does feel pretty high quality. It's sort of a generic mount, but it does spin so you can turn it around if you want, maybe to record a police encounter. Here you can see the power adapter is much cheaper. It only has one plug, so you can't charge your phone at the same time, which is unfortunate. Now here you can see it's only one amp so even if you wanted to unplug your phone or unplug the camera and charge your phone that one amp is not going to charge your phone very fast at all it's just going to be a trickle charge basically here you can see on the one that's included with the C2 2.4 amp max each so you can charge your phone while using the dash camera with the power adapter provided by the C2 here you can see the one on the left is the little pry bar or insulation tool included in the A1 where the C2 came with a much heavier duty one. And this is the adhesive mount that's included with the C2 but not included with the A1. And I was a little disappointed by that because I liked that the C2 included a permanent mount so you can use the suction cup mount for a secondary car. There you can see it does use micro USB just like the other anchor cameras and and of course the manual and quick start guide. Now one thing this camera doesn't have is the audio alerts other than the intro sound. Now when you compare that to the C1, C1 Pro or the C2 as I'm showing here, those have voice audio alerts that not only tell you when the camera is recording but when something's wrong like when the memory card is missing or when the memory card needs to be formatted. Please insert micro SD card. Rove dash cam is recording. So I think those are pretty useful audio alerts personally. Now the menu system on this is just like the other cameras does let you change the loop recording lengths, the sensitivity, the parking mode which just like the other anchor cameras is a little strange because it takes about five seconds before it uh, starts recording in the parking mode. I'll talk about the parking mode a little later but of course another thing about this camera just like all of the other anchor cameras does have a battery which means it's not going to be as good in hot climates as a camera with a supercapacitor. Now quickly I wanted to show the Wi-Fi app. It's very simple. It's not as robust as the Wi-Fi app or the 
features of the C1 and C1 Pro. It's got all of the same settings that you can change in the screen or on the actual camera. And of course you can view the files, but you can view the files on the camera too. But there's no live feed, which I found a little strange. So it's very simple. But of course the big benefit and convenience is you can wirelessly send videos to your phone as backups. Now overall the video quality is very very similar to the C2. A lot of people say the C1 or the C1 Pro look the best and I would tend to agree with that but they're so close that when it comes to re reading license plates it might not even make a difference. It's really hard to say. Now I have done comparisons in the past of the C1 versus C1 Pro and the C2. This time I just did the C2 versus the A1 because I think they're a very similar camera and I think a lot of people are going to be looking at them since they're the same price and very similar form factor. So like I had mentioned before this camera is only $60 which is a very very cheap dash camera. A couple years ago when I first started reviewing dash cameras I bought a G1WC for around $60 or $70 on Amazon. Now since then Viafo has released the G1WS which uses the same Sony image sensor as this camera. But while this camera I actually thought looked slightly better than the C2, the C2 actually looked slightly better than the G1WS. But on top of them being about the same price, you might be able to find the G1WS for cheaper on some Chinese retailers, but they're all roughly about $60. I do feel like the Anchor cameras do look better and they offer special features such as the audio alerts and the Wi-Fi in this model. Now when it comes to this night footage, you know, the Sony image sensor does help provide a little bit better night quality. So when you're driving down dark roads, you can see a little bit more. But in reality, most of the time, even some of the high end cameras, you can't make out license plates from cars just perpendicular or adjacent to you at your nine or 10 o'clock or two o'clock. But Overall, I, for a $60 camera that has Wi-Fi, I thought this camera was very adequate. My main disappointment, I guess, was it lacked the audio alerts that all of the other Anchor cameras had because when I saw this for $60, I bought it immediately and I was like, oh, wow, this is going to be the, the replacement for the C2 and it's going to be better in every way. In reality, I did think, you know, this might not look... Uh, as great as the raw footage as usual because it's YouTube, but I did think the A1 did look slightly better But it was so minor that in reality I think what it's gonna come down to people for people or consumers is do you want Wi-Fi? Do you want that convenience to be able to transfer files to your phone wirelessly or would you rather have the audio alerts where? say your memory card is corrupt and it will tell you and personally I prefer the audio alerts because I've had times where I had a dash camera that didn't have audio alerts and it stopped recording because of a memory card issue and I didn't know how long it was going for you know it could have been weeks that it was not even recording because there wasn't anything to notify me and when the camera's behind my mirror or if you know I forget to check it once in a while then you know it's just tough luck for me so that's the main reason why I really like those audio alerts. But I can't deny that the convenience of Wi-Fi is very nice because you don't have to take the memory card out. You don't have to use a micro SD card, USB adapter, and watch the files on your computer at home. So it's really going to come down, since, since the video quality is very similar, I think it's going to come down to what features you prefer. Now, of course, there's also the C1 and C1 Pro. Now, while in my top five dash cameras for 2018, I did put the C2 on the list. That was more because I was trying to pick a camera that was very affordable, something that could replace the G1W at about that $60 price range. But if I really had to choose between these four cameras right here, I would take the C1 Pro. 
Now some people think that the C1 has better video quality than the C2 or the C1 Pro and I do think in some ways it looks better. The color looks better. The contrast looks better at times. Sometimes some of the orange signs on the street look weird. But I do think this uh, the C1 Pro's 1440p does give it a slight advantage but besides that it does also have built-in GPS and it does come with a 32 gigabyte Samsung memory card I think it's overall the best value if you don't mind spending a hundred dollars on the C1 Pro but when I bought it I, I paid 150 or 160 dollars retail and it's come down a lot since then and I just bought it like half a year ago so it's much more cheaper now and can compete with cameras like the A119 I think so like I had said before I would talk about the parking mode basically the parking mode it uses the internal battery of the camera just like the other anchor cameras and when your car shuts off it uses its battery to keep itself powered and if it senses an impact it starts recording but it doesn't start recording for a good four or five seconds or even six seconds after the impact is detected so that you know it it's interesting and it's unique but I think at this point there's better parking modes available for cameras that are reasonably priced or at least in the hundred dollar range now this is only sixty dollars so it is quite a bit cheaper so that's the thing is it's hard to hate on the camera when it's so affordable and ha even has Wi-Fi but the parking mode I think is more of just a bonus on top of a decent cheap camera if you really want a good parking mode you're, you're gonna have to look elsewhere especially because this camera just like the other anchor cameras have they all have batteries and the batteries just don't do well in hot climates there's been a lot of people that have complained about the performance of the camera freezing and not recording so if you live somewhere like Arizona or Texas or where it's consistently over 80 degrees I think I think the camera will do fine as long as you don't try to use the parking mode you know you might even need to consider taking it out of your windshield on those really hot summer days because that extreme heat can get your car easily up to 160 degrees if you're parked in the sun for a few hours now overall I do like this camera I think it gives the market another option similar to the C2 but with Wi-Fi but I would actually say this is my least favorite anchor rove dash camera now the original anchor rove C1 last time I saw it was on sale for fifty dollars and I think that might have been a temporary price I'm not sure I'll provide a link down below to all four cameras and you can see the current prices on Amazon because the prices change so much but this is my least favorite because I I like the form factor of the C1 and C1 Pro better and the only reason I gave the C2 some benefit was because it came with a permanent adhesive mount and a suction cup mount but this one only comes with a suction cup mount it doesn't come with the standard two port USB charger that can charge your phone pretty quickly and it doesn't have the audio alerts so it's a little disappointing but again it's a sixty dollar camera with Wi-Fi and you can transfer your files to your phone so that's of course a plus and of course it's gonna have the really great anchor customer service so if there are any issues anchor is known for being very great when it comes to returns or exchanges for any sort of defective products and you know it does give me confidence in this or any of their other products so I hope you enjoyed this review if you did like this video or my other videos I'd appreciate if you hit like and subscribe and again I'll provide links down below to where you can purchase any of these cameras as usual, drive safe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.